511 on your finally Friday. We've talked a little bit about Pava Palooza in the last week or so. As the name infers, it is the post construction paving phase of the huge project neon as it nears completion. Lane reductions, freeway closures, yeah, they've been a little inconvenient while the paving is going on. However, well, but Nate, the material being used to pave our newfangled freeways has got a big green benefit for all of us, even those who don't travel those particular valley roads. Drivers pound the pavement in their cars day after day. This is where the rubber meets the road. And thanks to recent technology, the same rubber will eventually become the road. We're taking roughly 60,000 discarded tires that would otherwise end up in the landfill, removing the wire, shredding them into uh, a fine little pellet, and then mixing that in with the asphalt and the aggregate. That's right, this pavement is planet friendly, and Tony Ilio with NDOT says it has noticeable benefits for drivers. It makes for a smoother, quieter ride than just normal asphalt. It also lasts almost twice as long as traditional uh, asphalt pavement. And that means longer wear and tear with fewer patching and paving repairs. Arizona has been using crumb rubber asphalt for years because it holds up well to the blistering desert heat. And it's not completely foreign to Nevada. We used it here for the first time back in 2011 when we paved a section of I-15 from Tropicana to US-95. If there was any stretch we would want to use something on this uh, it would be I-15, which is already the busiest stretch of highway in the state, seeing 300,000 vehicles daily, 25,000 lane changes an hour. Because not only does it last longer and it's quieter, but it also has a better friction surface, uh, especially during wet weather, which makes for less skidding and less splashing. And with the monsoon season right around the corner, safer driving during heavy downpours is a big bonus of the near billion dollar, now eco-friendly Project Neon. Well, who knew, right? Okay, so this is actually just a little small sample of crumb rubber that I brought. So uh, when you look at it up close, right here, it really doesn't look all that impressive. I mean, it's just little black slivers of very minutely crushed rubber. Uh, but when you mix it with all the other components like asphalt, cement, sand, gravel, and crushed rocks, it improves the durability and the smoothness significantly. So there are other uses for crumb rubber to make speed bumps for surface streets and parking lots. It helps cushion and insulate rails for trains and trams to make those areas quieter near housing uh, areas and neighborhoods. And it's used to make football fields and athletic tracks and playgrounds. So really, it has a lot of different uses. And so Nate, who knew all this paving that's been an inconvenience, mm -hmm. but I can tell you, I've noticed, maybe you have too, on the surfaces that have been paved, it is really a smoother ride. It well, feels great. Maybe your tires will appreciate it, maybe your car will appreciate it, and the environment. Yeah, and especially once we get to rainy season, mm -hmm. which has been pretty rainy already, but if it really does improve uh, friction on the roads and less splashing, maybe that will help with fewer accidents during monsoon season. So there's something good about Pavapalooza. <laughs> We've got to find the good side. <laughs>